Enjoy your meeting. Just a reminder, today's meeting is being recorded. Hello, and welcome to our Wednesday Wisdom Call. It is November 11th. It's actually Veterans Day today. And we have three lovely ladies joining us today who um, are family and building a business together. So I would like to introduce to all of you Deborah, Susan, and Stephanie. And I'd like for them to just take a, a minute or two to share just kind of their journey, how they got started um, right. building this business. Um, okay, I'll start. This is Deborah. And I got interested in oils about two and a half years ago, and um, just for the health benefits and trying to get away from pharmaceuticals and things like that. Um, and I started actually with a different company originally, um, but then uh, my friend Don had a class here with the layman's, and I just I fell in love with the company. I fell in love with the oils. I really didn't intend to do it as a business. That just kind of um, happened, as it does with a lot of us. So, But I love it. It's just one of those things, you all know if you're doing it, you can't help but talk about it, so why not do it? And then how did your girls get involved, Deborah? Go ahead. They're here. They can tell you. I'm Susan. I'm Deborah's middle daughter, and I'm a family physician. I work here locally in Michigan, and I... Stephanie and I both got introduced to the oils from our mom because um, she was using them a lot. And I actually had um, some pretty significant health um, struggles of my own and um, had been in and out of the ICU a lot and had, was in the hospital. And um, Don actually brought me some oils to help with some support my digestive system. And that was really kind of what sold me. I was super skeptical at first, did a lot of my own research about the science and different studies that were out there supporting the oils. and. Um, really feel that it's my my passion is to educate people about oils and oil safety and, and to help people use them um, successfully to complement what they're doing for their health. Awesome. And, and so I'm Steph oh yep. I'm yeah. Stephanie and um I obviously got started through my mom and I just loved the idea. I wasn't one that wanted to take a lot of stuff whenever my systems were feeling subpar and so um so being able to do something naturally was very appealing being able i am a sixth grade teacher and i'm also a high school volleyball coach and so being able to help support my students and my players um naturally um was very appealing and has been uh, a joy to be able to do that. Very cool. Okay, so, well, and first of all, I don't think that I even introduced myself. This is Andrea Lehman. I'm sorry. Welcome to the call. And what is it like to work together as a family? I know that when we started this business, it's my mother-in-law and my sister-in-law and myself. You know, we were the, the three originals of the Living Well Now team. And so it's it's been fun. That journey's been fun. And we do have a lot of people in our living law organization, and especially in Michigan, this Michigan crew, um, who who have like the the mother daughter thing going on. So tell us a little bit. What is it like to work together um, as a family? Um, I'll start. Uh, this is Deborah. I I think it's fun. I if I can have a reason to spend time with my girls, I'm all over it. So I, it's just, it's fun. Um, we kind of sort of can know which is what the other person's strengths are, kind of what they're thinking um, without having to do too, too much of a dance. I mean, it isn't without its challenges too, but it is mostly fun. Awesome. Yeah, I would agree that it's a lot of fun. Um, definitely presents some challenges just when it comes to family and siblings. Um, dispute that obviously that's always going to be present, but um, all in all, it's been a lot of fun. Um, like my mom was saying, just knowing each other's strengths right off the bat and knowing who is better at doing one thing than the other that um, has been uh, has been very successful and has been really easy to do. Yeah, and I think we. 
because we know each other so well and um, because we're family, it makes it a little bit easier to step in and support each other and sometimes. And, you know, I've been working nights the last couple of weeks covering at the hospital. And so, you know, I noticed the other day that I had a builder that, or um, a member on my team and her ER process is just under 300 PV. And um, I didn't have a chance to call her because I was headed to bed for the day and she, my um, person was at work. And so I, you know, shot my mom a text message and she took care of it for me while I was sleeping. So, um, it's nice to be able to kind of work together um, that way. And we've done probably a little more, at least initially, we did a little more intentional stacking, um, especially when we were trying to get my mom to silver. And I think that's a little bit easier to do when you're doing it within a family because um, a lot of them were mutual friends that all three of us know. So it's a little easier to kind of intentionally put them somewhere within the downline. Awesome. So th now I want to hear from you individually just about what have been some of your struggles in this business. Because I think that people can relate to other people's struggles. And you, you hear something that somebody else has struggled with, and it's like, oh, okay, I'm not the only one. So what has been, what has been some of your struggles um, so far in this business? Well, I'll start. Um, I think one of the excuses I hear the most potential builders or, or people I'm working with is, I don't have enough time. And um, that one has really hit home to me, and I found myself um, using that from time to time because there are a lot of weeks where I'm working 80 hours a week, and so finding time to do intentional young living is hard. And I took a lot away from um, we went to Danny Johnson together over the summer. Um, that, that was just a blessing that that worked out. We were able to all go together last minute. And I took a lot away from uh, her time secrets material and just not only in my young living um, career but also my professional career as a physician and just uh, with time management and being a lot more intentional about my time. So I really encourage, I think anyone has the time to do it if you make it a priority. That if we all look at our schedules that we're all doing things throughout the day whether it's Netflix or Facebook or different things that, you know, it's about making an intentional choice. And I like the I'm not going to quote it exactly, but where we, you know, I've heard people say things that, you know, we live a couple of years like no one else will to spend the rest of our life like no one else can or something like that. And just Yes, yes. Our, and you know, my sister-in-law and I used to say that all of the time the first two years of building this business because it is it's yeah. so true. And who no, better to no excuses than you, Susan, working 80 hours a week and building a young living business on top of it? Absolutely. No excuses. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, what about the other two of you? Um, I think one thing, well, a couple things. Um, there's always lots of struggles. Um, I think one is being getting people on your first level that aren't people that you interact with on a daily basis um, or just getting people signed up, whether it's on first level or whatever, that – um, just getting those strangers and being able to connect with them. Um, and so that has been, you know, the challenge with the three-month challenge that I hope a lot of you um, have been participating in that um, I did participate in for a while, um, which I think was another struggle just in the prioritizing that when, like Susan was saying, when life gets busy, that you just want to make those excuses of saying, I don't have the time to do it. And while there were weeks that um, I did that and then I just kind of said, I don't have the time. And then when one day happened that I didn't make that contact, it was like, oh, well, then I'm off the hook and I don't have to really push and prioritize it as a business because, you know, because I'm not in the challenge anymore. Um, so to really – uh, people that aren't in the challenge um, anymore that were at one point really focus on still pushing to that and making your own personal goals. Awesome. And so for those of you who aren't aren't familiar with, we just are finishing up a three-month challenge. The challenge was to talk to one new person a day and invite them to um, some event. Um, some event about the and so 
Stephanie hung in there for quite a while on that challenge and did a great job with that. Okay, and Deborah? Yeah, um, I think one of the things that I, especially doing this with my daughters, one of the things that I struggle with is the balance between being their mom and being their business partner. Um, and when that, when you have to draw that line. So, and I think part of that, it really spoke to me this summer when we went to um, Danny Jensen, when she talked about um, what needs to change. I'll, this is what I wrote down from this. What needs to change in me, your ego, fear of failure that I won't lead my team well, unbelief that I have what it takes and can have a successful business and successful relationships, throwing off the lack of confidence in who I was designed to be. So I think for me, that was a little bit of my struggle was I'm not I'm not a red or a ruby or whatever you want to call them. Um that just is a natural born leader. I that's that takes effort for me. And so I think part of my struggle was do I have what it takes? Do I have I you know, speaking in front of people um terrified me. The thought of teaching classes really terrified me and what I've actually come to discover is I I love teaching classes. It's so much fun, um, especially when you're really passionate about something. So don't let your own um, disbelief or unbelief in who you are designed to be um, thwart you from what you are, what, what a call on your life is or what you're uh, destined to do. Oh, I have chills. That was really good. That was really good. And I think that... One of the beauties of this business is that even if we don't go in this business to change, we end up changing. There's no way to purposefully build a young living business and not to grow ourselves and change. So um, you guys you guys have already talked a little bit about just being at First Steps to Success, the Danny Johnson event this um, summer. What month did you guys go? Uh, July. July. That was July. actually the second time. I went last October as well. That's right, but then you brought the girls this time. They did I brought the girls with me this time. Yeah, that was fun. It was fun to do that together. So tell us a little bit about why you chose to prioritize going to First Steps to Success. Well, I, for me, it was um, it goes back to what you were saying as far as personal development. And sometimes you don't know what you don't know until you hear it. <laughs> And you, you, for me, it's easy to think, well, I can, I can do this. I can. I was been sharing the oils. I can do that. But there's just so much um, inside of me, as not just as a business person, but just as a person that needed to grow. And when I would hear you and Ange and Deb talk about personal development and all that or early on, I was like, yeah, yeah, okay, that's that's fine. You know, I'll read a book here or there, or whatever. Um, but I really discovered just how really important that is and how much mm -hmm. I am learning, not just skills for the business, but just learning about myself and, and relationships and people. So. I was just I was just reading, and I think, Deborah, I think you're reading the same book as me, um, the John Maxwell, uh, what is it, The Laws of Growth? I can't remember the exact Yeah, the 15, 15 Laws of Growth. Yeah, I just got his new book, too, The Living Intentionally. Oh, awesome. He's so good. But do you remember yeah. that part in it where it says, that if you if you focus on goals, sometimes you'll hit your goals. But if you focus on growth, you'll always hit your goals. Yeah. And so that idea yeah. that we have to change if we want something different in our lives, if we want to have a a successful business or whatever it may be that we're wanting, that we we do have to be intentional about growing. And I don't I personally don't know of a better event to go to than first steps to success. For working on yourself, so I'm really glad oh, that you we're able to go. Absolutely, to that. and I, you know, and even more than once because I know I don't know oh, if she said things differently or if I heard them differently. Probably both, but oh, I got no, it's so true. Yeah, I got a lot of a lot of new things out of it the second time I went. I've been to at least six of her events, maybe seven. I've made a commitment to go at least twice a year. Because, yeah, you it, well, and when you start to get lazy, I'm not talking about your person, but in general, you know, I'll come out of that event and I'll be re-energized and refocused and I have stuff that I'm working on. And then, you, you know, then life happens and you get a little bit lazy with things. And so it's that I need that, okay, here we go again. 
So re rebooting, refocusing, re-energizing. And every time yeah. I've gone, I have gotten something different out of it than I did the time before. So yeah. very cool. Um, well, I have just a couple more questions for you guys. What What are you most excited about on this Young Living journey? As you're looking forward, as your businesses continue, what are you most looking forward to? Well, if you ask me what my why is, because um, I think that's what you're getting at. Um, you know, my 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 dream and my ambition is not oh. ever to quit my job um, because I I know that I'm doing what I'm what God called me to do and my role as a physician. But I really see Young Living complementing that, and I am my goal someday is to to be successful enough in my own living business that I don't have to work full time and that I can um, spend a lot of time um, prenatal care and um, obstetrical care is very near and dear to my heart and my why is that I'm hoping to be able to, uh, or I, I will be uh, only working part time in the near future so that I can um, volunteer most of my time working at our local crisis pregnancy center. So. Awesome, awesome, awesome. And I love that you caught your I hope to. That you will be, yes. Okay, we're hearing somebody. Um, I'm not totally sure. I can mute everybody and then unmute you guys, Deborah. Deborah, will you talk again so I can see which one you are? Yeah, okay. Okay, I see which one you are. So I'm going to mute everybody so that we're not hearing people in the background. One second. All guests have been muted. Okay. Hmm. Deborah, can you talk? No, nope, that's not working. Give me a second here. Hello. Okay, there yeah. you go. You're unmuted now. Okay. Okay. Awesome. All right. So we heard from Susan. Now, how about the other two of you? Something. What are you looking forward to? Um, I am super excited that I will be, uh, I guess there's a several steps to this, um, because part of it is I, in teaching, I'm a private school teacher, so um, supplementing that income will be very nice, um, but my ultimate goal and what I will be doing in the not too distant future will be not teaching full time and really being able to focus on coaching. That's something that is very near to my heart and I love doing it. I love spending time with the high school girls and being able to um, mentor them and be a part and be a part of their lives and to help them through the ups and downs of high school. Mm -hmm. um, so that and I'm excited just to be involved in ministry and supporting others and traveling and continually being financially free and not be and being debt free and not having to um, be living paycheck to paycheck, and um, so I love it. You have a clear picture. You know where you're going. Yep. And Deborah, um, yeah. What I'm excited about. Well, one thing um, I've already actually took the leap this summer. I retired from my part-time job at the end of June. So yay! After 16 yay. years being there. So that was um, scary. Um, in a lot of ways, because the first week or two, I was like, "What did I do?" <laughs> you know, but um, but it's been really good. And um, my husband, he's self-employed; he has his own business, and so it's really nice that we have a little bit more freedom now mm -hmm. um, to do things that maybe we didn't weren't able to do before because of um, having to report to an office or whatever. Yeah. So I I just look forward to being able to um my my heart is I really want to be able to help people who really need help. As far and not just not just with the oils, but when I see a financial need or see um you know, a single mom or um 
somebody that just needs a little bit more more help in that area. I just I love to be able to do that, and I would love to be able to do that more. Awesome, so awesome. I love all of the ways that this business can can bless. You know, like mm -hmm. wherever you're passionate, wherever you're passionate. Um, okay, and just last question, and I'd like each of you to answer it. Any tips for new business builders? So think about mistakes that you have made that you would like somebody who is just getting started building not to make. Um, I think for me, one thing I would do differently that I didn't do is I would, the more I've learned, I would really build towards the um, – Fast start bonuses. Huh? I'm sorry, not fast. Rising star bonuses. Yeah, sorry. Rising star bonuses because I think that really sets you up to um, fly through the ranks and grow quickly. Um, it just seemed to, it. the more I thought about that and uh, the more it's made more sense to me. So I would really encourage, I think, people that are, getting started, maybe not just getting started, but are in the early stages to really maybe focus more in on that. Awesome. I agree with you 100%. 100%. Okay. Um, I was – oh, a few things. This is Stephanie. I know it's not alike. Um, one is it's okay that people um, say no. Like, don't take things personally. It's business. And so you have to be okay with that. Um, and uh, I wouldn't say, well, I guess didn't go last year. But if you are not, as a business builder, if you're not signed up to go to convention in 2016, start saving your pennies for 2017. Yes. Yeah. Convention, convention is a must. It is an absolute must in this business. So, uh, yeah, I'm with you. Okay? And my tips would be, um, we say this a lot, but, you know, you have to follow up with people. And um, if you're not intentional about it, I mean, that was one of the reasons that my mom switched companies, is that, you know, she felt like she didn't have a lot of support um, when she first started out with oils, and that was what was so different about In Living. And so you have to follow up with your customers if you just, give them a kit and then never have any more contact with them, they will find something else. Um, and most people are looking for that support. But I think along with that, and I know, Andre, you and I have talked about this, but you don't have to be the expert. And so I know you said you struggled with that some initially and in trying to really know all the science behind things, and I know that that's the more where I struggle, especially in my professional role um, and how people view me. But know that it's okay to say, I don't know. <laughs> And, and, you know, to encourage people to do their own research. Um, and, you know, gosh, the very first class that my mom and I ever taught together was probably a total disaster. Um, she was, uh, I think Don and Maddie were supposed to teach with her, and then a couple people got sick, and she had this class and had no one to teach it with her. And I was sitting at the counter, and I was like, well, I'll teach with you. I barely had a starter kit really didn't know anything about the oils, and we taught a class together, and I feel bad for those people that attended that first class. But <laughs> uh, And that was before we had scripts and, you know, all the resources that we have now from um, you guys in the LWN team. So we we're very thankful for that. I think it's made it very easy for others to duplicate. And so really um, focus on being duplicatable um, yeah. and not being an expert. Mm -hmm. and so awesome. one, other, two one other thing that I thought about, Andrea, is, uh, just to back to the personal development, because I know sometimes people let finances get in the way of that. Mm -hmm. And um, I just want to encourage, especially new builders that feel like they can't put a lot of money towards that. There's so much good free stuff out there. Mm -hmm. um, there's there's calls. There's periscopes. I listen mm -hmm. to several, you know, at least two periscopes a day. There's a lot of just... Um, Videos on the on the virtual office. There's just a, so much good free stuff that don't yeah. let finances keep you from doing personal development. Right, and you're a little and you're a little bit easier and nicer on people than I am. I say, freaking figure a way out. <laughs> <laughs> well, 
You know, I'm, I'm but a you girl. Are so, you're so right. There's so much that people can get plugged into that is free um, that yeah. will help. I just feel that there's something extra, extra special about being in person at events. You, your business grows at events. You, you find renewed strength and renewed commitment and camaraderie and, and all kinds of things that happen at events. So I am a huge proponent on even if you are really struggling financially, do what you can. You know, most of us figured out ways to pay for community college or college if we went to it, you know, with loans and stuff. Figure out a way to invest back into your business because it will come back to tenfold what you put yeah. into it. And you're absolutely right. Um, and that's why the three of us are actually signed up to go to GoPro next year. So, yes. yay. Yay, 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 yay. I'm so excited about that. Guys, thank you so much for being a part of this call tonight. Um, I know that people got nuggets out of, of what all three of you shared. So um, thank you for being a part of this Living On Out team. We really appreciate you guys. I know that we're across across the state, Arizona to Michigan, um, but we love you guys, and we're just super excited that um, you're on this journey with us. So you guys well, have a we good love night. You. Yep, thanks. Thank you. We love you, and thank you for all you guys do for us. Absolutely. Have a good night. Good night.